right, all right. Look who I have here, LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. And and this this young lady needs some introduction. I mean, come on. You guys should know the Colombian queen by now. I got Sabina Mazo back on the show, fresh off of her LFA victory over Lindsay Williams. Sabina, how are you doing this Monday? Pretty good. Pretty good. Feeling good. I'm healthy right now. No injuries, thank God. So I feel, I feel great. Okay, so did you have to return to class today? Yeah, uh, well, I, I trained this morning and I'm doing some homework because, uh, yeah, I have uh, some college this class is this week. So, yeah. So fresh off the victory, you right back in the gym training again. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I, I always like to do that, you know, always trying to improve, not only because of uh, my next fight, but because I want to improve as a fighter. Okay. And, um, you know, for the audience, again, for people, I got a lot of new people now. I got some people that's following you now. What are you studying again in school? Oh, I'm studying nutrition. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Sabine. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about that at the end of the video. You know, give give some of these people some, some, some nutrition advice so they can so they can be healthy just like you are. Nah. So, okay, so let me ask you this. You know, you came off a spectacular victory at LFA 23. Were you expecting Lindsay Williams to come at you that strong? Yeah, I knew all the time she was a strong fighter. And uh, and that was the idea, you know. I, I wanted a, a good fight, not an easy fight. Okay. Yeah, it was a difficult fight. But let me ask you, how did Master Cordero tell you how to deal with the pressure that she was going to put on you? Uh, well, he, he, he's a really good coach. You know, he tried to focus on my, um, good things, the, the, the advantages I have and try to trust in my game. You know, it doesn't matter. Um, well, I mean, of course it matters who I'm fighting with, but mostly put my game on and, and, and show the world and put my rules on the, on the octagon. Okay. You know, you know, Lindsay, and I mean, I'm sorry. God, not Lindsay. Please forgive me. Don't get mad. <laughs> Sabina, okay. um, you know, I noticed that uh, she was catching you with some with some leg kicks, and she was really, you know, like really getting on the inside of you. Like, what, what, what were you thinking when she was like really on the inside of you like that? Well, I knew she was going uh, to be strong. She was going to try to put pressure. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I was trying to measure the distance. I was trying to counter, you know, but, um, it went in the right spot. Uh, but I, I knew all the time she had a good game. So, yeah. Yeah. Cause it kind of seemed like, you know, it almost seemed like you was, you were kind of trying to fill her out a little bit. Cause, you know, I almost thought she had like a, a speed advantage over you, you know, cause she was moving around so much. And so, you know, I, I don't know, were, were you just taking a little bit extra time to fill up? Well, not even extra time because you got the knockout in the first round. But during that round, were you taking like a little extra time to say, you know what, let me let me see where I can catch her at? No, I was, I was trying, you know, you feel the fight and um, catch her, you know, get the, get the motion. And, um, yeah, I mean, everything was like trying to, to feel the moment, you know trying to get the distance, and, uh, and yeah, she was putting pressure. I, I really knew she was going to do that, yeah. Okay. And you said you didn't get hurt at any point in the fight, so you completely, you know, you feel great and you're healthy. Yeah, I'm totally good. Thank God I, I have no injuries, no no pain in my body. So, um, yeah, I, I feel awesome. I feel I can train um, again in the gym. Nothing is it's actually hurting. Okay, so let me ask you, you you have you have a lot of success with uh, southpaws. Like you got a lot of success with those those type fighters. And were you, as the fight progressed, what gave you the indication that she was going to be ready for a head kick? What I thought it would be like the moment you th you say like, what was the question? Yeah, like okay, you you have a lot of success against southpaws. But what gave you the indication that Lindsey Williams was open for the head kick? Like, what what did you see that we can't see that allowed you to throw that kick? Well, I, I see this phase, you know, we all have reactions and um, 
and as soon as I feel like she opens the space, I, I, I can throw the kick, you know, and um, and she did it, you know, it's, it's hard to have the guard all the time up, and um, that's supposed to be the right thing, but it's really hard, you know, it's, it's hard to all the time having the good guard and moving all the time good, so yeah, I just saw the, the, the spot where my kick could uh, land, and, and well, it did, yeah. Did you did you feel like you had something to prove? Because, uh, you know, you, you get a lot of your opponents. For some reason, they look at you as 20 years old, and, and they think that you're, you're this little girl. And then you end up going into the octagon, and you end up finishing them. I mean, what, what you know, how does that make you feel? Because they all think you're this young girl. Well, you know, age is not something I really pay attention, you know. Maybe they will think, like, oh, no, she doesn't have uh, a lot of experience, but... That's not right. I, I train in one of the best gyms, and all the time I, I train with guys that it, they've been in the sport like their whole life or since the beginning of MMA and everything. So um, I, I I feel pretty confident on myself. I feel like age, I mean, it does matter, but uh, I, I look at it as uh, something with a, bandage, a bad advantage with me, you know. I'm pretty young. I still have, like, a long way. And, yeah. Okay. And it seemed like, you know, you guys, you and Master Cordero, you guys had the perfect game plan because, like you said, you guys were re were ready. You you were ready for the pressure. Like, and I was thinking, oh, wow, you know, like Lindsey Williams is starting out really strong. You know, and I was like, okay, what is she going to do against the pressure? But what? how does he teach you how to remain calm? Like, because I've seen fighters when they take a hit or they, they get kicked a few times, they tend to throw the game plan out. But you were very like focused, and you kept the game plan. So how 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 do you how do you do that? Training, you know, it's it's just training training with different types of games. You know, everyone in the gym has um, their own style of playing. Some put more pressure, um, a little bit more distance. You know, so I I prefer pretty well. I prefer with different styles because. Um, you know, you have to be ready for everything, you know. Maybe they change the plan and you have to be... When I go to a fight, I, I, I like to be prepared, like me, as a fighter. Like, what game I'm going to fit. Not only worry about what the other fighter is going to do. I focus more, more on me on what I'm going to do. Mm, okay. And that's what you did. You focus on what you did. And, you know, it's almost like you did the exact same head kick that you did in the fight before, you know. And the same opening came up with the exact same head kick. I mean, so so now, where does this leave you now? Like, what, because, you know, I know that there are a lot of different, like, things going on. I guess, like, next fight, future opponents. So, where does, where does this leave you now? Are you, are you interested in a title shot? Um, yeah, well, um, I, I'm waiting for my manager to to give me, like, another, you know, opportunity. Let's see what, what fight is coming up. You know, I don't really know what's next. Um, I just know I'm going to be ready for it, you know. If it's the title shot or if, if it's another fight, you know, I'm, I'm going to be ready for sure. So, uh, yeah, for now, just, just training. And, and I don't have, like, something scheduled yet. But Sabina, boy, you know, it's, it's you. And, and uh, this fight card was stacked. But you and Andrea KGB Lee, y'all fought on the same card. I mean, what if your manager gave you the shot against Angela? You know, if he came back and said, hey, Sabina, we're going for the title. Let's fight Andrea KGB Lee. Well, if at the moment, then if all my team agree with it, well, we go, you know. Of course, it's not a decision I only make, you know, it's it's a whole team, so. Yeah, I mean, like I told you, if if I take it, it's because I'm I'm gonna be ready and for sure. I'll be there and giving a war and going for the victory. But um, I have to, you know, check it out with all my my team, with master, with my manager. Yeah. But Sabina, that's a hot matchup. I, I know that's that that that's a hot matchup. Like I was sitting back and I'm thinking, man, that'll be a war of the titans. Like, both of y'all skill. And, and, and you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you why I think you would have an advantage. I'm going to tell you why you have an advantage in that fight. Just a slight one. 
because they're going to underestimate your age. They're going to underestimate you because of how old you are. And, and man, I mean, have, have you been, have you been, have you even had a chance to really sit down and, and really re rewatch the fight that you had against Lindsey Williams to, to really look at this thing and say, you know, damn, I'm starting to evolve in this game. Yeah, well, um, what he said is true. They they don't think I I can do it, you know. Um, I'm, I, apparently, I look skinny, you know, compared to a lot of fighters. I'm tall, but um, I mean, I I don't I don't mind if they think I'm I'm weak, you know. I go there and show the opposite thing. So yeah, I use that as an advantage. And and yes, I I sat and and saw the the fight. And yeah, there's a lot of things I have to work out, you know. I have to. To work in that and, and and get a little bit more, you know, some details to to just adjust that, you know. And every time improving, that's what I really like about fighting. You always see your mistakes, and you can um, improve even more. All right, can you tell the audience one one minor thing, something real small that don't expose everything? That's something that you know that hey, I probably need to work on this. If it's something really small, well, something small. I have to be a little bit more aggressive, you know, at the beginning. Not only um, measure, you know, the distance and feel the fight, but be a little bit more aggressive. That will be one of the things. But you don't think you were being like just like you were studying your opponent? Like, I, it, it, Samina, I enjoyed this fight because I saw another dimension of you. Like, you actually, you took some time and you were like, you were you were studying. And then you were like, okay, this is it. And then all of a sudden, that head kick, man, I don't know. It's like if you blink, like I was drinking something, next thing I know, the head kick was already there. <laughs> I mean, kid, I mean, I'm mean, i sorry, I won't call you kid, but listen, that's, it was good. I, I, saw some, I saw you do something different besides like go in and just really, you know, try to pummel the person. You took your time. Like, that's, you start, I mean, you're almost a veteran. I mean, <laughs> I mean you got to be happy about that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, I do take my time. I like to study, you know. It's it's a lot of motion going around, and um, that's why I take my time. But uh, sometimes I, I have to be a little bit more aggressive, you know. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot, a lot of things I can change, but uh, that'll be one of, one of them. So did the Colombian people watch this fight? Yeah, a lot, a lot of people was watching it and like uh, super excited. It was kind of hard to um, watch it online like in that moment, but uh, they figured it out and, and of course they were excited. Okay, I, I, I bet they were excited. You know, how excited are they that they can possibly have a Colombian champion? Like a Colombian champion? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really hard to find like girls fighting from Colombia. So uh, it's it's like making history, you know, and that's one of the biggest things I, I like to do in this sport. You know, it's history for my country. And um, I want to change a lot of per, like perspective that people have on my country, like a lot of only drugs and like, um, you know, like. Okay. Sports. Um, for sports, for um, I don't know artists. So yeah, that's that's one of the biggest things I I like to to do with this sport, like represent Colombia the right way and show the people that not only because being a girl and even from Latin America, and I don't I don't have like a bright future, you know. I want to show that it it is possible. Well, you 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 you're already showing that it's possible because possible is everything because. Your last two fights, I mean, yeah, you've already shown that it's possible. I mean, so let me ask you, and I meant to ask you this on our last interview. What, um, were you ever offered to go on, like, uh, the Ultimate Fighter, uh, uh, the UFC Ultimate Fighter? Yeah. Really? They offered me, they offered me, but um, it's over 21, and uh, I, I was 19 that time. Well, I'm 20 still, and I can't go there. And no, I don't think it was the moment to to go, you know. I wanted to watch out, like, what girls are going to be there, you know, and for sure one day go there for the title. Okay. So so, so the UFC, that's in your future then? Yeah. 
Okay. So you, are you going to go straight from LFA right to the UFC if the opportunity presents itself? Yeah, probably. Um, but in this moment, I want to stay in LFA. I'm good here. I want to get more experience. And uh, as soon as I feel ready, I just go there. Okay. I, hey, I believe it. Because when you get there, I, I'm going to... I'm gonna definitely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my Sabina Mazo gear. Like, hey, what, matter of fact, do you even do you have like uh things that like fans could get, like if they want to support you? Yeah, uh, I'm working on that. I have some some shirts, but um, I'm trying to sell them. They have to like send me a message, and maybe I can ship them. I don't have a lot, but uh, for sure I'm gonna uh, make that a little bit more organized. Okay, well you gotta let me know because you know we gotta. You know, we got a we got a little small that's growing now. We got a Sabina Mazo fan section on this particular channel. We do. Um, Thank you. Yeah. But it it it, it was good. I, I I enjoyed the fight, and I, I'm watching you evolve, fight to fight. You know, because from your first fight to your fourth fight, I've seen you do different things. You know, a lot of different things. So Master Cordero, he's he's doing a heck of a job with you. I mean, I'm 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 impressed by just what you've done so far. Um, so last thing, so what would what would winning a title in, in LFA mean to you? One more step. That'll be it, you know, getting the title. That'll be one more step. Um I don't I don't really believe on big fights. I think every fight is important. So um I give the same importance if it's a, a title shot or it's not a title shot. I always give my best and, and, and prepare for it. Okay, great. All right, Sabina, I, I, just, I got a couple more, and then it's, I'm, I'm going to let you out because I know you you're, you work hard, and you probably got a test coming up, don't you? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, next week. <laughs> oh, okay, well, hey, man, there you go. There you go. You're going to study for it. Hey, you know what? Just give the coach the answers. Just give the coach the test, and I'll take the test for you, you know, so you can go train. Yeah. No, I'm just playing. I won't do that. <laughs> okay. I got some fan questions, okay? Yeah, you got fans on this particular. You got fans. That's great. They want to know about you. Okay, so here's the first question, okay? This person mm -hmm. asked, Sabina, you're 20 years old. Do you have time to, do you have a lot of time for your friends and to party at 20 years old, being a fighter? Well, I I really don't like to party. You know, I love being, you know, in in the environment a little bit more relaxed, you know, going to the beach and those things. And for sure, I have time for that. I, I always say that you have time for whatever you want to do, you know, as, as, as you organize your time, you can do whatever you want. You can be with your family, work, study, you know, sometimes it gets hard, but for sure you, you can take the time for whatever you really want. So of course I'm with my friends a lot of time, but, um, I don't like to party. So, I don't usually do it. Okay, two more questions. All right, um, what were your thoughts on what were your thoughts on the Claudia Gadelia and Jessica Andrade fight? Man, so good. I love that fight. I love. I was super excited for that fight. Um, as soon as I I finished, I was trying to look for it, and it was bloody. It was super bloody. I I honestly, I think Gadelia was super um, technical at the beginning. She was. I mean, I saw her like way more um, technical than than the others. So um, as the round was going, man, she was down. She was down. She was trying to survive now. So um, I mean, two girls that are beasts, you know, they're 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 one of the biggest names of the world. So um, really, really, really good. I love that fight and bloody. I, I really like those fights. Bloody, wow. Yeah, man, those are the best fights. Yeah. God almighty. You described it because that's what it was. I watched the fight. All right, last question. This person wants to know, how do you throw a jab against a southpaw? <laughs> this is a good question. I like that one. Yeah, it's a good question. Well, um, always, like, try to let your left foot is not going to be in the between of the other person, you know. Your left foot has to be always on the outside. Because if your left foot is inside of their, their legs, they have the distance. So um, it's really hard that it, your jab is going to work there. So always trying to be outside, outside, and then the jabs are going to work. 
Okay. Awesome. Well, Sabina, I really appreciate it because I, I know you have a lot to do. I appreciate you taking time out for this small segment of YouTube to just give an interview, man. That, that says a lot about you because uh, some fighters probably wouldn't want to interview, but, you know, you, you're you pretty, you know, friendly and, you you know, you like telling people about you. So that's that's awesome, you know, and you, you're an awesome person and you're doing a, a lot of good things. Um, you know, any, any people you want to speak to for you before you leave? Yeah, well, thank you to you. You're really nice, always giving that good energy. And um, all my family, you know, Kings and, and all the fans over there, thank you. you. You're always, like, supporting him and, and supporting me, so I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. And, I, hey, and t please tell uh, Master Cordero, tell him <sighs> that man is brilliant. J just tell him he's brilliant for me. Please tell that man he's brilliant. <laughs> I and, will. He and is. I, and I really admire him because of what he's doing with you. So, I, I mean, I admire him anyway, but especially because of what he's done with you. Thank you. Okay, guys. For Sabina Mazzo, I'm Coach Shelton Harrison. We are out. See you guys. Y'all take care.